what the hell did I just watch? Like, what is this bullshit? Like, wh- huh? This is the big new movie that everyone's been talking about? Star Wars? You know, the great cinematic classic? You know, this big deal? This big phenomenon? Like, oh, the greatest movie ever made? No, bullshit. Watch any other movie, okay? Watch something. Have some perspective. Because Star Wars is absolutely atrocious. In every way, shape, and form, when it comes to the acting, the set, the the direction, the the story, it all just doesn't come together well. It feels like a five year old wrote it, right? Like, oh, uh, uh, what's the plot? Oh, uh, uh, the princess needs to be rescued. Like, come on, that is so overdone, so played out, so derivative, so uninspired that I honestly don't know how anybody could have put out a movie like this in 1977. You know, the current year, why? How did this get made? Okay, because this is just the most... It's like, a con, it's like a chimera of every cliche you've ever seen, like, over the past 50 years of film, you know? Like, save the princess, stop the evil empire, like... Farm boy goes on an adventure. You know, it is the most basic, straightforward narrative structure ever, right? So uh, what actually happens in Star Wars? Okay, like, what is the premise? Well, I wish I could tell you, like, what the stakes were, right? You know, you have, like, the evil empire, and they're out oppressing people or something like there's a rebellion out to get them but you don't have like the full context of what's going on you don't know how the empire established itself you don't know anything about their policies you don't know anything about its leadership you basically just see like a bunch of their guys in military uniforms sitting around talking about like all the evil diabolical things they're gonna do to the princess to like her home world of alderaan like uh, they're they're scheming, man. And then you have just this one guy, this one guy who's, for some reason, even this 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 movie takes place in space. Nobody else wears space suits. But you have this one guy who's on set thinking to himself that, like, yeah, uh, I'm going to have to – I'm going to act like I really am wearing a space suit, right, in this – no oxygen environment he's like going around wearing this helmet and he's like taking these deep heavy breaths <gasps> it's it's so ridiculous and exaggerated and distracting especially since nobody else is doing that right like this guy like He's supposed to be some, like, underling of the bad guys or something. He's, like, you know, the head of the the strike force or whatever. You know, he takes orders from, like, those those circle of goons that on the their giant battle station thing. Like, but, like, it's, wow, unbelievable. And he's, like, religious, too. Like, all of the, all of the guys on the ship are making fun of him for, like, being religious, you know, believing in the force, this all-encompassing magical aura that just influences everything around us, apparently. I'm sorry, around the characters, right? Like, it's apparently this, like, dead religion that seems to be only be practiced by, like, two people, right? <laughs> so, like, how exactly... If the force is so great and so powerful, why do only two people at a time believe in it, huh? The instant that our farm boy protagonist starts becoming a believer in the force, which he apparently never heard of before the film began, like, his mentor dies, you know? Like, oh, may the force be with you on your way to hell. Like, it's, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. But, like... They use the force to hand away of away any like and all like contrivances in this film, right? Where like in order to make our farm boy protagonist look more hardcore and insane, like they have him fly through the trenches of uh, 
this this battle station. I don't know why a battle station would like, eh, but anyway, like he's flying through the trenches, he's dodging laser fire, and eh, like everybody else couldn't do it with like their their super high tech aiming computers. But Farm Boy over here is so in tune with the Force, he just shuts off his aiming computer, makes the shot anyway, and saves the day. Like. Wow. Unbelievable. Like what? How how awfully convenient that that the force can do whatever you want it to do. It's like wow, who came up with this? Like who wrote this? Like I um I was already just kind of like I didn't even want to like sit through the credits, right? Like by the time like they walk down that that hallway with those with all those people and like they're awarded the medals like uh, uh the the giant furry walking carpet thing right he didn't get one for some reason apparently because these idiots like anyway but like any yeah I, I why did han get a medal okay why did that asshole get a medal like he forfeited the right to to win a medal when you know he abandoned everyone like when it comes to the final fight like you know, it doesn't matter that he came back in the end. Like, you know, the fighting was pretty much already done by that point. You know, Farm Boy would have just used the force to win, <laughs> to to make the shot anyway. You know, like, you know, everyone else is out there risking their lives. And Han Solo comes in and, like, for some reason he's treated like a big hero. Even though, like, you know, he shits on, he shits on the princess. He shits on, like, Ben. He shits on uh, Farm Boy. Like, it's like... Come on. Like, Han's just not... The character just isn't likable. He's not cool. The whole, like, uh, owing money to, like, an underground boss thing. Like, just leave the planet. Okay? Like, oh, every bounty hunter in the in the galaxy is going to come after you. Like, bro, just lie low for a couple of years and everyone's going to forget about it. Like, like you are you have a spaceship. You're not restricted to, like, uh, the... To the spaceport, okay? Like, you can just go elsewhere. By the way, I gotta love the fact that this mo- this idiot owes money to a crime boss who wants him dead, and yet he's, like, sitting in a cantina, you know, that's explicitly stated to be, like, the most dangerous place on the planet or something, right? And uh, this is the homeworld of the guy that he owes money to, right? Like, he comes out and, like, confronts him personally, right? Like, What? Like, that doesn't make any sense. Wouldn't you want to get as far away from that guy as possible? But anyway, uh, again, I, I can't stand Han. Uh, can't stand the girl. She's annoying. Can't stand, like, uh, chew, like <sighs> the gay robot. Like, again, like, there's a problem with this movie where every character is either annoying or inexplicably does not speak English. Right. This is this is the most bizarre thing to me. You have two major characters in this, like the little droid thing that holds the uh, the the plans to the the, the battle station. And then you have like uh, the big walking carpet. Right. Uh, Chewie, his name is. Yeah. Uh, you have these things that straight up do not speak English. Like like the the Chewie just goes around like roaring all the time like he's a dinosaur. And R2 makes like these uh these little beeping noises. Right. Like how. How do they make – how do they communicate? Like why does everyone just kind of know what everyone else is, is saying? It doesn't make any sense. And like – I don't know. Like this film, this movie, it really wants to like rip off Dune with the whole like fantasy elements in a sci-fi setting. But like it doesn't feel like a sci-fi story to me. Like, it feels like it's fantasy. It feels like the the writers thought they could just, like, oh, we could just make it sound technical and people will just buy it. But it's, it's like, the most fantastical thing I've ever seen in my life. Like, it's, like, I, I don't know, man. Like, it seems more far-fetched to me than something like, a, you know, Lord of the Rings or, uh, or even Dune, right? Like, it's, like, who who came up with this? Who came up with this, really? It's... It's so embarrassing, and I, I'm so frustrated, right? Like I just could not, could not stop seething as I left the theater. Like this is what people like. This is what people are watching. You know, this is what people get excited for. Today is just some dumb space flick where like guys, uh, the 
the enemy soldiers inexplicably don't know how to hit their targets, even though they're like explicitly stated to be like the best shots in the universe or something. Like you, you have like somehow the the empire's like entire evil plan is foiled by like four people. Three, if you don't count Chewie. Two, if you only ca- count Farm Boy and the princess. And, like, one, if you only count, like, the fact that Farm Boy was the only one to fly against the, the battle station at the end. Like, again, like, what was the point of all this? Like, what did we accomplish by destroying a battle station? Is the Empire just going to go away? Are they just going to give up? Like, uh, apparently they have complete control over the entire like system or whatever like a- again this is another problem with this like h- how exactly is the government structured right because like farm boys like on his farm like oh i want to go out and fight the empire uh, like I-, I thought at first like what was happening was that like he wanted to like be conscripted and go into service for like the planet and fighting against the empire but like I think the implication is that, like, the Empire controls the planet he's on, and yet they, like, openly let people leave the planet to join the Rebels and, like, fight the Empire. Like, to me, it just seems like, you know, the the Empire seems to allow free speech. They allow, like, uh, dissension. They allow people to, like, do stuff like that, right? Like, again, you would think that's something that would, like, get Farm Boy killed, right? But no, like, uh, the Empire just... Apparently, uh, I get like, why am I not supposed to like the Empire? Like, what do they do exactly besides like go after traitors and people who are like deliberately trying to undermine their their policies, right? You know, people who are like, you know, destroying their super weapon that they built. Like, you know, what are they using the super weapon for, right? Like, you know, it, does it serve a practical purpose? Do they have a reason to use it? Like, uh, is it for, like, defensive purposes? Like, it, it seems like to me that the Rebel Alliance is just, like, a bunch of terrorists coming out and just, like, causing all these problems for for people who are just, like, doing their ordinary days. It's really weird, you know, saying the dialogue between, like, uh, the, the, the white trooper guys, right? Like, seeing them talk to each other, like... More than anyone else in this movie, they seem like normal people. Like, they, they seem like they have, like, real genuine conversations with each other. Like, everyone else in this is a, is some kind of criminal or traitor or just, like, like, again, not, not impressed by this movie. Okay, like, it's just, this was an absolute embarrassment to cinema lovers like myself.